Hi viewers. Hola espectadores. We thought it was about time we put out another fake silver video as we haven't done one in a while. Pensamos que era tiempo para producir un otro video sobre la plata falsa porque no hemos hecho uno en unas semanas. This is the Spanish eight reals. Aquí está los ocho reales de España. Bueno, no los otros reales. Unas otras. <laughs> Was that in the script, Eagle? No. <laughs> right, well anyway, here are the two coins you just saw. Uh, and both the same year, which is, oh, um, I don't actually know, I've actually looked it up, I'm guessing it's probably a sought after date, which is why they uh, have faked that particular date, I don't know. But as you can see, the detail is uh, pretty impressive, isn't it? Mm. To the untrained eye or for people who don't really know what they're what they're looking to buy um so anyway this is uh, sort of a hopefully a, a help to a few people and um there are some obvious differences and one of which i'll point out is if we uh, flip the coin there mm. and if we flip this one uh, there is a glaring error there. Oh, not very glaring, because in the last take you got it wrong. <laughs> well I wasn't paying attention. Um, also the edge detail as you can see there and the edge detail there. So uh, we know which one is the fake don't we? Yes it's the one in my hand. <laughs> but we will just weigh that up for you. Um, just out of curiosity to see whether it is um, actually silver um, you know because they do make uh, fakes in silver as well mm -hmm. not just uh, non-precious metals so I will just quickly do the magnet slide for you at about 45 degrees and you will see oops <laughs> it, uh, it is a bit fast it should slide off a bit slower than that mm, just a tad. Um, but it's obviously non-magnetic so it's not steel um, some sort of alloy and if we just do a quick way up for you there twenty one point nine four grams and the real one weighs twenty six point six grams mm. and obviously the original weight would have been oh, well twenty six point five eight the original one would have been slightly higher because obviously there is a bit, little bit of wear on that So what should we do with this fake then? Well, there's a, I have a few ideas in my mind, Eagle, mm. but um, what do you think? Mm. Well, in light of recent news, you know, after a, a decade's worth of work, they, you know, scientists have recently managed to land a, a, uh, a probe on a comet, and soon there's going to be a flyby of Pluto as well. Ah, yes. I think we could do something with that. Yes, a bit of inspiration. Mm. Well, I think maybe to do that we would probably need to drill a hole in this yeah. right in the top of his head right, I think. right there yeah right in the top of his head to uh, to fit that thing over to there fit that in that, through it yeah and then we'll let our viewers guess what's going to happen to it yeah very shortly well here it is with the hole ready a few scuff marks there where i held it with the pliers and our piece of wood goes through it perfectly Eagle and on to the next part well here's our fake eight reals and if you wonder what we're going to do with it then Eagle's just about to provide the answer shine it up a bit yes we're going to use it as a rocket launch pad a very fitting end to this fake eight reals don't mm. you think eagle i think so yeah. well here's the final product then a blackened mess <laughs> the only clean bit is the bit where the explosive actually went off. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Nicely toned, I call nice, it. Nicely yeah. toned, Igor. You sure this was the fake, right? <laughs> it was. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, we don't know what it was made of. It looked uh, silvery, but when I drilled it, it looked a bit brassy. Mm. So, who knows? Who cares? Who Doesn't cares? matter. Anyway. Cheerio. Thanks for watching.